So just to take our learning from class to the next level, I want you to be aware that, of course, you can always use System Requirements Lab to check the requirements for your game, but it doesn't always dial in to the amount of FPS that you may want to play to or give you a ton of information about exactly what you're going to require. As we said in class, because the CPU and the memory combo can sometimes be different than what they'll have here, <clears throat> another thing to do would be just to, you know, check it. So for Cyberpunk 2077, scroll down and read it. You know, it says it requires 106590, all this stuff, which is great. You can always also go and Google like Cyberpunk 2077. system requirements and there'll be a myriad of websites that'll pop up and this will change a little bit depending upon what you want and try to get something that's relatively new like this is from at the time of this filming this is about six months old so and this is when cyberpunk was just released but as the as you can see here settings really haven't changed that much so recommending it uh a 6 1060 a gtx 1660 versus over here they want you to have a 590 so again everything is a little variable what i ultimately recommend is to go to youtube and type your game stream the fps and like whatever graphics card you want to try to run it at so for instance here's a stream of somebody playing um GTX 970 on this GTX 970 and when we go beyond it you'll see the different FPS is over here in the corner and it's just a good idea to get in, in the habit of looking at all the different FPS's so this can really begin to give you the information you need also something to be aware of is when you scroll down a little bit they generally give you what their PC specs are so this can kind of help you know how to dial in everything you're going to need a little bit more. So 5600X, uh, 16 gigs, 3600, GTX 970, and it'll just kind of help you to get everything downloaded, uh, dialed in a little bit better just for the FPS that you want to see. And as you can see here, if you, you know, if you keep going over and keep reading the FPS as he's getting. So just a good way. It's, it's, it's a real good practice to get in the habit of using YouTube to um, gauge the FPS that you want to be able to play at.